Hello, I'm Goblin. So let's talk about some machine gun. A machine gun is a sub percentage trading strategy designed to extract wealth from cryptocurrency markets, that which your profits are routinely deposited back into your fiat accounts for use in your everyday life. We do this through continual accumulation, constantly trying to drive down overall unit cost, and then we close multiple positions at once via hunting technical moons. This is done through an auto config file that functions as a master controller for StepGrid Hybrid. It greatly expands its functionality and then continually manipulates it based on live market data. Who made Machine Gun? I made versions 1 through 3 back in 2020, you can see them on Viral Trading. And then Nina joined my team and we put out 4.2. And then I teamed up with Bearcoin and we've been working on 5 since then. It's important to note there was also a community version that Nina did, and then there was a private SGS version that Hydrogeology did. So who made StepGrid? That was a project between Kryptonokov and PIM, and it's directly in Gumbot. That's what we build on top of. So here's a look at our new indicators and tools we use for technical analysis. Each one of these is multifaceted, and we do different things with each of them. They don't serve a singular purpose. We also manipulate the second version of the trend module quite beautifully in my opinion. And then there's the new features, the number one we've been talking about for months, ease of use, the one setting and done. Actually I'd love to show you guys how easy it is to use machine gun. Here's a copy of the auto config file, just a beta we've been working on. You just open that up and you drag it into your Gumball installation folder. That's it, you're done. Here we'll just go ahead and open up the software. Going to log in and then we're going to go up to our auto config screen. Now we're doing this to make sure that it's enabled and if it is you'll see that we already have pair overrides for machine gun. Next we're going to go to trading settings and we're going to click add new pair. Here you can see I'm going to dollars and I'm going to go to Solana because that's what we're running in the community cup. Next you'll need to pick grid bots and then you'll need to select step grid hybrid because that's what we build upon. And then here it is the one setting you have to put in. Click here. You type MG investment level, and then you put in how much money in total you want to spend on this pair. You are done. Just hit add. You're going to see down in the bottom right confirming a custom perimeter, and then you're going to hit add pair. And then you're going to save these changes, and you are done. Everything in the software is now set up for you and maintained for you. You can click start simulator or start trading in most people's cases, and then you can just go to your chart, and you're done. That's it. You have now configured Machine Gun. Bam. So back to the new features. You just saw how easy it was to use with the one setting. We also expanded the capital and quote stage system to be a 10 phase system now. Still handles deposits and withdrawals lives, reacts to other pairs using the same base even if they're not using Machine Gun. We also built in six predefined risk management scenarios to determine how much you should be spending at any given time. We expanded the dynamic trading limit system to a 23 phase system with 15 automatic protection mechanisms. We're still trading fee resistant, trying to hunt those technical moons to get the most of every trade. And we're still anti-bagged, meaning that we lock all phases before they exceed their risk limitations. And if you're approaching low funds, we actually start doing traditional ex like old school 4.2 action on exits. We've also built in a dynamic dip and bull hunting system. It's a three phase system with four detection mechanisms and then four specific protection mechanisms just for dips and bulls. We do market recovery protection, trying to spend more when it matters when the market's correcting itself. And we have the famous waterfall and flood protection that I've been talking about for a long time in chat. Overall, there's over 50 new settings. They're all configured, but if you want to fine tune this to your needs, we've left everything in so that you can control every bit of machine gun yourself. So who can use machine gun? Everybody can. Every license of Gumbot can use an auto config file, and that's what we build on, so everybody wins. Everybody can use machine gun. So when I added that pair earlier, I actually just left the software running in the background while I was editing this video. So why don't we come back and see what it's doing? Here we are about two hours into runtime, and it looks like it's catching some nice technical moons. You can see in the chart, it accumulated, it sold at technical moons, and then it went back to accumulation, and here we are selling at moons again. So about two hours in, I'm actually really interested to see what it's made, because this looks like a wonderful start to the day. So we just click dashboard, and check this out. $20.64 has been made in less than two hours, with a hero trade of $8.78. 
That's actually pretty amazing. That's a good day. 0.49 cumulative in two hours. It's a pretty decent day with machine gun here. So I actually just decided to keep the recording of the pair we added going for 24 hours. I've went ahead and blown up the clock and the account balance. And at 20,000 X, let's just zoom through what a day in the life of Machine Gun 5.0 is about. Here we can see heavy accumulation because it doesn't think that the market's dropping hard enough. It really wants to accumulate to keep driving unit costs down. We're gonna go ahead and have some waterfalls down and go back into some basic accumulation. We're gonna run up and hit these technical moons where it thinks that that's as good as it's gonna get. That's a erroneous buy at the top of the peaks there. We actually fixed that in the most recent version that I've been talking about in Telegram, but funny to see them here in this old recording. We dropped down into a heavy accumulation. We went ahead and sold off what we thought was technical moons. You know, they don't have to be huge runs. It will sell when it still thinks it's at a peak, but we generally like to catch the bigger runs. So here you can see some beautiful waterfall protections down into accumulation phases. And then we're not sure what the market's doing, so it stops accumulating and it just lets the market readjust itself. Here's some waterfall into a flood protection. Beautiful technical hit there for the sell-off. And then it thinks that it's going to flatten out or run up. So we go back into heavy accumulation. Look at those beautiful technical moon sell-offs for the whole entire bag thanks to following unit cost. So here we are, once again, slight accumulation into sell-offs. Just trying to pick up a couple extra bucks on the way up. Beautiful hits. We had one flood protection sell that went wrong. You can see actually a couple of them right there. We fixed that in the newest version so it'll still hit at the peak instead of waiting for the peak to end. Beautiful hits right there at the top and then we're going to go back into a, probably a heavy accumulation here unless the market starts dropping real hard to trigger uh, waterfall protection. Here it thinks that the market's going to start dropping so it didn't buy for a little bit and then it picked up right there in the dip and here it's waiting for the market to make up its mind again and it starts to look like it's going to go on a run. Oh, just a couple of little buys right here, and we start to make a run again. Beautiful waterfall down into a dip hit, and then a bowl on the return. Here we are running back up above unit cost again. Nice technical moon there. It sold off a little bit more. It wasn't sure if the market was going to keep going up, and then it did. A beautiful waterfall there with one purchase on the drop. Another beautiful waterfall into flood. And that's a waterfall. And it's a little stabilization there. That's a dip hit on a waterfall right there. We've actually got better detection for these in the new version. So it's really interesting to go back and look at this older version running. And so there's a little bit of accumulation again while the market just kind of hangs out. Looks like it's going to start running up again. Here we are crossing unit cost and we're going to start emptying our bag. It wasn't sure if the market was going to continue flying up. So it decided to sell there just to go ahead and get some more funds back for it to use. There's two cells into a heavy accumulation, and then we ran up for the technical moon and unloaded a lot of that bag. Here we are accumulating again, and because we're running so close to the unit cost line here, we'll continue to drop it so that we can stay in a higher phase and spend more with these purchases because we're riding unit cost right now. We're just printing money. This is a, a heavy accumulation phase we're going back into because it hasn't triggered a waterfall protection. So it thinks that it's good to just go ahead and drive unit cost down as much as it can right now and that those aren't bad positions to take. Here's a waterfall into a flood so it didn't buy that dip and we're heavily accumulating again. There's just a tiny little sell-off. These sell-offs are just to return the bag hand because it thinks it can make some cheeky buys or sells right now. Just quick flips. Here we rode down a heavy accumulation into a waterfall into a dip accumulation and now we're just waterfall protecting. We went ahead and had one buy in there. And it looks like we're going to get flood protection to run up above unit cost. And look at that technical moon right there. Hit the perfect top. Ran back down into a heavy accumulation phase again. Waterfall. Dropped another waterfall. And it's sitting there. It thinks a waterfall is going to happen. Look at that dip by. Here's waterfall protection. Hit another dip equivalent to its old one. Missed the very bottom there. But that's okay. That's a waterfall into flood situation. We're working on fixing those. So here's another waterfall protection. It looks like we beautifully hit the dip, but we're not sure if the market's going to stay, so we stopped accumulating. And then we're going to start running up, it looks like. That's a waterfall. Oh, we're going to start to accumulate actually a little bit more. The market's coming up, so this is flood protection. We're going to try to snap up as much as we can now. 
to build a bigger bag because it looks like the market's running back up and we're going to start hitting technical moons again. Nice accumulation phase here for a little bit. And here we are just tickling unit cost again. We're going to go ahead and make a sell. And then it looks like it's going to accumulate into a run because the market's still going back up again. You can see even though we're over unit cost does not mean that we'll always sell. It, we really try to hit the best situation for sales to occur so you get the most out of the distance of your money. Look at this drop into a heavy accumulation phase and then it triggers a waterfall and we buy the dip. Look at that heavy accumulation phase in the dip again. Nice little waterfall protection into a dip hit and the market starts to climb. Oh, that's a waterfall into a heavy accumulation again. It's a, oh, look at that waterfall into heavy accumulation. We are riding this with our wallet. We're going to lower that unit cost down so far that we can pop right back above it and empty our entire hand again. Here, it's going to accumulate just a little bit before the run. It's not convinced that the markets are coming back completely, but it isn't going to go ahead and heavily accumulate yet. So just a couple little cheeky buys there. Just trying to pat our wallet out with a little bit more. It looks like we're going to go ahead and into a flood protection here and start making a run back up towards unit cost. A couple extra buys and here we are tickling unit cost again. So we're going to start heavily accumulating. And there's the pop over unit cost. It wasn't sure that the markets were going to stay going up there. So each of those cells was very important because it was sure that the market would drop back down and it didn't want to lose a chance to make money. Then we drop back down into a heavy accumulation and then a run up into a beautiful technical moon where it's going to go ahead and drop everything it has. It completely clears out its bags for this and resets the day which is a great way to end the day. You now have more money than you put in and results say $144.53 for 24 hours of runtime. It did 106 today, 37 yesterday, hero trade of $23, average trade of 23 cents, zero fuck ups, did 26,000 in volume, 489 buys to 134 sells, absolutely stellar 24 hour run. For just a test run that I just left open because I wanted to edit a video, this is a great example of what Machine Gun can do. Look at this cumulative. 1.41. 1 1.41 1 in 24 hours. That is a beautiful day. And so now you guys get to see how Machine Gun 5 works compared to 4. And here's the test parameters. You can see what we set it up with. And then here's the results, what we were just discussing. Just an amazing day, 144.53. So some of you may remember I started a GoFundMe to help with the development costs of this thing. Here is all the badass donors that helped us out along the way. I cannot thank you guys enough. You all mean the world to me. Each and every one of your guys' supports really helped me move forward in life, helped me move forward with Machine Gun. And then, hey, the Community Cup's going on right now. I don't know if you guys know, the 2024 GunBot Community Cup's going on. So if you like this content, you like what you just saw, check it out. There's multiple strategies running live right now. And you can come talk to us, see how other people are doing, and see how Machine Gun's doing. We're currently duking it out for first place. So thank you again, guys. Keep calm and GunBot. And I love you all.